Good morning, Collierville. My name is Nick Luter. Coming up, we have reminders about lunch, info on adopt to seniors, new news on a new vaccine, and more. Today is Wednesday, March the 3rd, and you're watching Collierville AM. Like when I close my eyes and don't even care if anyone sees me dance. Like I can fly and don't even think to touch the ground. Like a heartbeat skip, like an open page, like a one way trip for an aeroplane. It's the way that I feel when I'm with you. Brand new. It's Women's History Month, CHS. Amelia Earhart, a, fa a famous female pilot, was known to say, the most effective way to do it is to do it. Get it done today, dragons. In national news, Johnson & Johnson CEO Alex Gorski discussed Tuesday the company's unprecedented partnership with rival Merck to boost production of its COVID-19 vaccine. Coronavirus vaccines are seen as critical in helping the country and world reach herd immunity. This would allow the U.S. to fully reopen safely after a year of lockdowns and restrictions that weighed on the economy. In local news, some residents in Collierville are receiving their utility bills late or not at all. The delay is due to the United States Postal Service. Residents are expected to eventually receive their bill, but the timing is uncertain as it depends on where they fall in the billing cycle. The town will extend the payment period as the delays continue, with exceptions of the holidays. Listen up, Dragons. Here are some reminders from Mr. Heinrich regarding our new lunches. First off, first thing I want to say is we are excited about uh, more of our students coming back for in-person instruction in the second semester. So some things are going to be different. One of those things is going to be lunches in the cafeteria. Uh, you may have been used to the, to the long lunch period. Uh, you're still going to get that time uh, during the lunch period, but half of it will be in the lunchroom. So in terms of uh, seating arrangements, we're actually going to keep seating uh, essentially the same as it was during the first semester. And how that works is there are specifically marked spots on every table. The round tables uh, can only have four students to a table that are six feet apart. Uh, the long tables can have uh, three students that are kind of staggered seating at all of those tables and that's going to uh, stay the same if you're a senior you have those options as well to still eat in the main hallway we have floor clings that um, allow you to be six feet apart so we ask that you abide by that also seniors are allowed to eat in the courtyard when the weather's nice enough to allow it uh, so those are some other areas that students can sit uh, we also are going to incorporate some lessons that are going to be distributed by teachers as well uh, this may include digital citizenship. We're also working on some ACT uh, tutoring materials that might be distributed during that time. Also want to stress too that in-person and virtual students will have this on their schedule as well. Uh, also want to note too that your schedule um, does already show a study skills teacher for that time, uh, but please know that that does not necessarily mean that will be who it is for the second semester. That is likely to change. So. Um, we are excited about it. We think that it will provide students an opportunity to get some academic things done during the school day uh, and also still give you the ability to stay safe and distant during the lunchtime and uh, to use that time as kind of a break uh, in what, what has been kind of a stressful year. Remember those things as we head to lunch today. Here are today's announcements. Did you order a senior shirt? Pickup will be this Wednesday and Thursday during all three lunches at the main office. Black History Month may be over, but we can still honor. The second annual Collierville High School Black History Month program's theme is Black History Honors. Honoring prominent African Americans who have contributed to different areas of the arts, such as music, dance, poetry, and theater. Check it out on the CHS website. Hey seniors, you've worked hard, and the Collierville community would like to spoil you and celebrate your upcoming graduation. Opt into the Adopt-A-Senior program using the QR code on the screen. Simply fill out this form with basic info, such as your likes and dislikes. You will be paired with an adopted parent volunteer in mid-March and showered with gifts until graduation. Please make sure to sign up by March 5th to be included. The Collierville community is so excited for you all. Today at 2.35, we will have an anchor meeting in the CHS TV studio for only those students who have been selected as anchors. Please let Mr. Robbins know if you can't make it. Quote of the day, women, like men, should try to do the impossible. And when they fail, 
their failure should be a challenge to others. Amelia Earhart. That's all we have for you today. My name is Nick Luter, and have a weird Wednesday.